Hello everyone, in this video we will try to repair scrapped 3458A out of bad parts. First we begin with outguard power supply. As you can see I plugged in and powered in meter, but nothing happens. But if I press on that inductor, then display is uh, coming up. So there is a mechanical uh, broken pin on that inductor and that's easy to fix. After this uh, power supply works and we can test that display works. So display, transformer and uh, CPU board is working. In this test I used a good uh, CPU board. But this is not the board that will be in this meter after we're done with repairs. So obviously we have no hardware, uh, any analog uh, hardware is disconnected. So the first error is missing DC board. As you can see there is nothing on the right side of the meter. A1 DC board that will go into a meter is sitting by the side and you can see there is a uh, little problem with it. But before we go to that, let's uh, fix uh, a CPU board. So this board uh, was already worked on before. It has stolen uh, components. As you can see there are no crystals, no firmware chip U110 and there is no Dallas uh, NVRAMs. So this board uh, needs some troubleshooting and repairs and there is also no calibration uh, chip. So three of the Dallas NVRAMs uh, not present and there is no option 01 uh, additional memory socket. I have all the sockets, I have all the chips, so now we'll have to put all this uh, back into the board and then uh, troubleshoot if there is anything else wrong with it. So just like with the rest of the parts, uh, this board was saved from uh, scrapyard and essentially the, this is the donor uh, pieces that somebody was uh, taking parts uh, from them for repairing other meters and instead of uh, having them uh, go to waste we will try to repair them, no matter how difficult it is. So this is just another look uh, on the uh, circuit board. This is older style uh, through hole uh, CPU board. So here I will put uh, the sockets in and then we can uh, solder them in and start uh, restoring the chips. So two sockets you would need uh, for uh, NVRAMs are uh, 28 pin and then also there is a 24 pin uh, for calibration memory. I didn't have the 24 pin uh, socket in stock so instead I just took a 28 pin and cut uh, two side pins on each side. And soldering is fairly simple, uh, just uh, attach one of the pins uh, to keep the uh, socket uh, from uh, falling uh, off the board. Then I solder the, another uh, diagonally uh, opposite pin, so it's all nice and level. And now I just uh, use the wave solder to go through all the pins uh, from uh, top to bottom. And then uh, keep adding uh, solder uh, with the flux in it, so it's nice and uh, reflow uh, every joint. You can actually uh, see this uh, speed up uh, five times, because it's not very exciting. Just go through uh, all of the three sockets. And then we will be uh, able to put the chips back in. Also one may notice there is a little delamination on the PCB substrate. Uh, because this board is fairly sensitive to heat. So here is uh, the look with the sockets. And now we we'll put a new Dallas and VRAM chips. These are essentially static memory. Uh, with attached 3-volt uh, battery on top of them, uh, molded into the single case. 
so uh, this should be go for uh, maybe about five years ten years something in between and then we can also add uh, option 01 additional memory this can be very handy for uh, use uh, during sampling uh, experiments so we have a lot of stuff planned for this emitter if it's ever be going to repair it and then we need to put the back uh, uh, missing oscillators this is a 10 megahertz oscillator that goes on U700 position and then 8 megahertz oscillator that goes into U100 position. And now we have a board with all the parts installed. So just uh, one final look before we try to plug it into the meter and see what happens. There are some modifications uh, how to replace NVRAM with uh, FRAMs that do not require batteries. So you can check those on XDEV's uh, com site. Uh, there is one of the repair articles from uh, um, user Tektron. So he repaired his meter and put the FRAMs so like they will work uh, for uh, quite a long time without uh, needing to replace NVRAMs every 5 or 10 years or so. And installation of the board into the chassis is uh, fairly simple. So we just uh, show it into the position. There are three notches on, on the right side and uh, make sure it's uh, nice and flat and then connect a single uh, ribbon cable that goes to the uh, A6 uh, board and that's it so we can uh, power on the board uh, I use uh, programmable AC source with the current limit protection just in case something goes wrong but here we have uh, meter uh, powered on and it takes about 25 watts so uh, fairly low power instrument but again we don't have uh, much of the other boards installed and now to the main star this is the a1 dc board and uh, input amplifier on it was blown up and uh, caught fire so i cut uh, the big hole in the center of the pcb because it was all carbonized there is uh, no point uh, <laughs> saving that so we will have to make a patch board and also there are mul multiple of other uh, parts uh, missing on this uh, PCB. As you can see current shunts uh, for current ranges is uh, not there. Uh, R213 and so on. There is no magical uh, 40 kilo ohm VHP resistor installed. It was uh, taken out uh, for some TCR measurements uh, a couple years ago and obviously there will be uh, a lot of uh, parts uh, uh, to replace and there is no rp7 a high voltage divider and missing relay k4 also we have a missing transistor uh, right there between the zip tie and uh, coax wire uh, for uh, front uh, panel input so we we'll have to put that back in and uh, a 10 uh, switchboard is there what else uh, we don't have uh, r310 and r307 uh, film uh, foil uh, resistors uh, for uh, current source for resistance measurements and also cr10 and uh, missing cr11 uh, we will have to figure out the replacement for those uh, current uh, diodes. So, and here also the damage by U305. There was a, ten, a resistor and a MLCC capacitor that caught, caught fire, but just a little one. Uh, so we'll have to probably drill that piece uh, and that hole uh, a little bit more. So quite a lot of uh, work uh, need to be done on this uh, A1 DC board to make it 
uh, somewhat functional before we can even start testing if uh, any of uh, those chips uh, that are still on, on board are damaged because uh, I suspect there was a high power, high voltage uh, uh, signal applied and that blew the board up. So I also, for some quick tests, used uh, long fiber uh, for a connection between A6 and A3. We'll have to replace that with original HP uh, short uh, fiber. So in this uh, short clip, uh, that's what I'm doing. And I don't have A2 board, so if somebody have uh, broken uh, or damaged uh, A2 AC board that sits in that uh, big hole space um, on the left. Uh, perhaps uh, we can uh, have uh, it for this project. So contact me via the email or uh, check on the XDEVs IRC. So that's the original fiber. Uh, I got it from uh, a secondary market source. It was uh, not very expensive, so I decided like to go with a nice and uh, properly uh, sized uh, fiber instead of that uh, very long one. Functionality doesn't really matter because unlike electrical connection, fiber is uh, there just for the interface. And this is the in-guard uh, power supply board. It's actually a good board uh, that I had uh, left from some other repairs in my previous units. So all we will need to do is just uh, replace some capacitors uh, for new ones and um, that's it. So this should be fairly simple, so I won't be showing this uh, in the video. One thing that I noticed that uh, there are vent holes uh, on the PCB next to the heat sinks and actually some of those uh, vent holes are filled with solder. Perhaps uh, during the manufacturing process when they run the board through uh, a solder wave, uh, some of the solder gets stuck in there and uh, solidified. And these are the new capacitors that will be installed. I go for a little bit higher value for uh, main uh, 5 volt cap. So I use 22,000 uh, microfarad, 25 volts, instead of original 15,000, uh, 16 volts. And also all the new caps are uh, 105 degrees uh, temperature rating instead of original 85. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.